guys, hope you're having a good day. So I wanted to make a quick video on the upcoming Juice World album, The Party Never Ends, and my theory on why it will not come out probably until next year. I could be totally wrong on this. Like I said, this is just my theory and why I think they kind of held back the album. Um, I think a lot of it has to do with Pop Smoke because if you look at Pop Smoke's album, Faith, it only sold around 90,000 copies in the first week. Whereas his first posthumous album, Shoot for the Stars, sold almost a quarter million in the first week. So we're talking a drop off of over 50%. And they put money into that album. Like they had features from everybody on that album. Kanye, Pusha T, I mean, you go down the list, Pharrell. The features on that were crazy. And then the industry, I mean, not the industry, but the fans and Twitter and, you know, dumb people that just like to run their mouth online, uh, were talking a lot of shit about it, sh you know, just shitting all over it, saying it was terrible and that it didn't live up to their expectations. My, my opinion on that album was, I thought it was pretty good for what it was. I mean, Pop Smoke doesn't have the amount of material that Juice World left in the vault. Uh, recently, Pop Smoke's uh, one of his good friends said that the, the vault was pretty much dried up after Faith. I don't know how true that is. They may be able to scrap together one more project or something or some sort of like greatest hits with a couple new tracks or something down the line. I don't know. But I think uh, Lil Bibby, uh, Bibby saw the reception to that album and he went back to the drawing board. He got scared. Like he was like, whoa, 90K? Like that is a huge drop off. Legends Ever Die, Juice World's first posthumous album sold almost a half a million in the first week. So if he only sells, let's say, two hundred thousand with this one, that's gonna be that's gonna be looked at as a flop by a lot of people, and that very well could happen unless they do this project right. So I think they are tweaking things, especially after seeing the reception to the Pop Smoke with all the features. They may cut back the features on this one too, because if you remember, they do listen to criticism. Because if you remember. When Legends Never Die came out, Gunna was supposed to be on Blood On My Jeans. And and I even heard that song, the version with Gunna, it leaked right before the album came out. But then when the album came out, Gunna was completely taken off the, the album because people were complaining on Twitter that Gunna shouldn't have been on the song. Um, I think he did a fine job, and I, I like the original Blood On My Jeans too that ended up releasing with just Juice World. I uh, really like that song a lot. So I think they are going back to the drawing board trying to see, trying to strategize, how are we going to optimize his sales to the fullest extent? Because obviously we know the the first posthumous album, even if you look at Triple X, XXX, Tentacion, his first posthumous album, the sales were really high. Well, it was well over 100,000. And then the second one, Skins, just dipped really badly as well. And the reception of that one was bad, also with all the features. Um, I never listened to that album, so I can't speak on my opinion on that. Uh, but, you know, the the history of, of second posthumous albums is there and to see for the world that they don't generally do as well as the first posthumous album. So, I mean, we know, we can we can pretty much say for mostly a fact, it's not going to do as well as Let's Ever Die. I mean, that's already a given. But you don't want to drop off 50 you don't want to go from 500k to 250k. You just don't want that. You want to keep it up to at least 350 to 400k in the first week. And the only way to do that is to really, really strategize and really do the proper rollout. And I think Grade A, Lil Bibby, they want to put that Pop Smoke Faith album well into the rear view mirror. You know, well into the rear view mirror to where that's not compared to the second Juice World posthumous release. Now, of course, like I said earlier, Juice World has much more unreleased material than Pop Smoke. So it's not gonna be anything like Faith was, unless they made it like Faith was. I mean, they could reach out to everybody in the industry and, and you know have a ton of features and whatnot, Eminem, Drake, whoever they want to get. Now, you know, the rumors right now is they, they definitely have Uzi and they definitely have uh, Travis Scott, supposedly. I mean, there's no proof. We don't know that for a fact, but that's kind of been the the general chatter online. And then Bibby kind of did confirm that Travis Scott was going to be on it or someone confirmed it. I can't remember who it was. 
So we'll see how it shakes out, guys. But I honestly, look, we're almost in September now. We're getting close to the end of the year. A party, like party chart record, the party never ends. That's generally a summer kind of album. Now, True Sword is the kind of artist he probably could release, like, let's say, Black Friday. Black Friday would be in what? September, October, November, about three months away. So they could do that. Look, there's still hope. Don't get me wrong. It could still release this year, but don't be surprised to see it get held off until next year. That's all I'm saying. I know that would be disappointing. It would be disappointing for me because I really do want to hear it. And I'm interested to see, is it going to be a bunch of leaks? Because if they compile 20 of his best leaks so far with nothing added, nothing taken away, it would be a crazy album. Like cigarettes that never officially released, um, Red Moonlight that never officially released. There's so many great songs that they could just put on here, not change anything or do anything, and the numbers would be insane. But I think the Pop Smoke album gave them pause to think, well, maybe we should wait. And by the way, Pause is another great song that hasn't official officially released. So we'll see what happens. I think if it does come out this year, it's not going to come out in the next month or two. It's going to be towards the end of the year. But then again. With a name like The Party Never Ends, you would think that, you know, partying, things like that is usually a summer kind of vibe. So we'll see. I'm not guaranteeing it's not coming out this year. It could very well come out this year. But, you know, they've really kind of stopped talking about it as much. So, like I said, we'll see. Please subscribe if you haven't, guys. Give me a like. Let me know in the comments when you think The Party Never Ends is going to drop. And I will talk to you guys later.